Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, we produce, record and edit video content, and audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Verbal, Podomatic, Anchor, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep and the pitch is where we talk. The Straight Shooting View Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Straight Shooting LJA and welcome to a special episode of The Straight Shooting View. And unfortunately, it's special because I'm going to drop two names. Jason David Frank and John Motson. Two parts of my childhood for very, very different reasons. And John Motson is the one I'm going to be discussing today. And because today, as I record this... John Watson has passed away at the age of 77. And another great, another great has left us. And in the same way as Pele was for a lot of players, for a lot of us watching the game, John Watson was an inspiration. And yes, I do mention Watson in the same breath as Pele, Because he, John Watson inspired me to want to be a football commentator as as a youngster. Um, (laughs) Me and and one of my old friends used to commentate on FIFA International Soccer games because they didn't have commentary at that time. And we were basically mimicking John Watson, who we grew up with. Grew up with John Watson on Match of the Day grew up with sound bites of it's a goal on um, FIFA 96 and obviously his commentary on, um, going onwards as well him with Andy Gray on FIFA 98 FIFA 99 <clears throat> and then obviously on FIFA 2000 as well and uh, hearing John Watson on match of the day every week was an absolute joy he had such a way with words that you couldn't help but get engrossed into whatever match he was commentating on. So from the 2006 FA Cup final, the Gerrard final, to David Beckham's free kick against Greece to get us in 2004, it's a, there were so many moments. I mean, the 5-1 match where England beat Germany 5-1 and just so many memories over the years he was literally the soundtrack the commentator the gold standard for commentators and whether it be whether it be on bbc whether it be on sky sports whether it be any other channel john moxon was that gold standard he was he was the best john moxon was the best and always will be the best commentator I would have ever heard. And some people may prefer Martin Tyler. That's fine. Some people may prefer Clive Tilsley or Brian Moore. Other great commentators are not taking anything away from those. But John Motson, for me, as said, he inspired <clears throat> like my commentary on some of the pitch talk shows that we've done as well. When we've done the marathon sessions of commentary um, on YouTube, on YouTube Live years ago, and the the degree of research that John Motson used to do because he came up. Um, I think he got a degree in broadcast journalism, went through local radio, and worked his way up. And I read I read his book years ago. I read his book Motti. And it was a very, very good read. And you could see the love that he had for football. The love that he had. And even some of the more funnier moments, like Lennon's going all the way towards the end of his career with the BBC. It was, I mean, an illustrious career. 
the matches that he got to commentate on from European Championships to World Cups to FA Cups to, to Premier League it's so so much and as I said for me he really inspired me into com- into wanting to get into commentary um, as a youngster didn't quite make it but it was one of them was you always wanted to be like him because he had that voice that you couldn't help but love but love hearing <clears throat> and I've always heard, I've always heard the rumours that he was a Chelsea supporter or, or an Everton supporter or whatever but never cared because it didn't matter he was that good at being objective and impartial you didn't care who he you didn't really know who he supported and didn't really care I think he actually was a Chelsea supporter I think he did actually admit as a youngster he used to go to Chelsea games in, in his book Motti and it didn't ever tinge or take away from his commentary and I said he was just such he had such a way with words and him being the lead commentator for as long as he was on the BBC even even towards the end of his run I think it was in 2017 even towards the end of his run that iconic sheepskin coat of John Watson's it's like it was it was a staple that that sheepskin coat is going to go in a footballing museum for sure because it is a piece an iconic piece of football in history along with um Ronaldo R9 and his haircut from 2002 <laughs> it's like, and and Ronaldinho's buck teeth or and Maradona's hand it's that like, those are things that you think of when you think of football just those iconic things I said that sheepskin coat, legendary. And John Watson has rubbed elbows with the biggest stars, players, managers, whoever in the game. And it's one of them, when I when I heard the news, it was just like, wow, that's yet another piece of my childhood. Like, gone, another, another inspiration, gone. And it's, it, is, it is a sad day for football commentary. Because I said John Watson for me was the best. I mean, during the 90s, I was a religious, avid watcher of Match of the Day. And I didn't have, like, I didn't grow up having Sky Sports. We didn't get Sky Sports until 2001. So hearing guys like John Watson, John Champion, Gerald Sinstad, Peter Brackley, it's one of them was Tony Gubba is another one that gone way too early as well I mean I used to I used to love Motson and Gubba they used to be the two who really who really stood out for me head and shoulders above everybody else on match of the day and then on ITV on their side you had Brian you had Brian Moore and then his successor basically Clive Tilsley Peter Drury you had guys like that who stood out because they weren't trying to be like they weren't trying to be wordsmiths you could see that they were wordsmiths and still are and at the end of the day they weren't trying to be a catchphrase like and it's live they would you couldn't narrow any of those guys down to just a pure catchphrase so and i said even on the even on the games even on the games you saw the range that john motson had because those had to have been long recording days and even though John Motson and Andy Gray was kind of a dream team that we'd never get in real life because obviously Motson was always contracted to the BBC and Andy Gray was always with Sky Sports, it was still like it was still very cohesive. Even though they even though they would have recorded those sound bites separately, more likely than not, it's yeah, it was just one of them, but. Uh, John Watson, man, gone at 77 years old. And I said that growing growing up, I used to watch Match of the Day. I used to watch Football Italia because I didn't have Sky Sports <clears throat> in, in my in my place. Didn't have we didn't have Sky Sports until 2001. So I very much grew up with Watson being the voice of my of my childhood. So I know a lot of us will miss John Watson will miss his voice miss his insight and have done since he basically retired in in 2017 
and to me there will there will never be another John Motson there's not even a point trying to look for a successor or replacement or whatever the case because you'll never find one like John again so the way I look the way I look at it is we obviously we move forward we have to but John Watson will be will be sorely sorely missed and those are, and another thing with John Watson as well in closing I mean he inspired my love of commentary and not even just football commentary I mean I love pro wrestling commentary but I started watching football first I got into I didn't get into pro wrestling until 1998 late 98 and I had been into football at that point since about what 1994 the start of the 94 season after the World Cup so John Motson really gave me a love and an appreciation for commentary from other sports as well Murray Walker another great commentator in Formula One he's another one who passed away too soon so for me it's like great commentary as I said on episode 100 of the Straight Shooting View, great commentary is becoming a lost art. And John Motson was definitely one of the greats, if not the greatest. You know what? I have been Straight Shooting LJA and I would love to hear your views. www.pitch-talk.com is the official website. YouTube.com forward slash Pitch Talk for all the videos. At Pitch Talk on Twitter. Tweet with us, follow us, see what we are up to. At Pitch Talk on Instagram as well. At Pitch Talk on Instagram for vlog previews and much, much more. We're on TikTok as well. We're also on Reddit at Pitch Talk. Ah, you know what? It is one of them ones, man. I have been straight shooting LJA. You can also find the Pitch Talk podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Ghana, G A A N A, V U R B L, Verbal as well. Wherever you pick up your podcasts, search for the Pitch Talk podcast and find us as well. You know, I have been straight shooting LJA. And until next time, rest in peace, John Motson. Thank you for the memories. Take care, peeps. Join the Pitch Talk revolution. Check out the official Pitch Talk website. www.pitch-talk.com Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments. Five minutes with the G. The straight shooting view. Coaching with JBK. We produce, record and edit video content. And audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Verbal, Podomatic, Anchor, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk Revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and www.pitch-talk.com. The pitch is where we eat. The pitch is where we sleep. And the pitch is where we talk. I can see you now.